Did a parent or maybe a boss or manager ever say to you, you are either part of the problem or part of the solution? Let me tell you, my children know this phrase well. For me, there are only two types of people in the world, those that are accountable and those that are not. Let me explain by having you remember a favorite childhood story, The Wizard of Oz. I'm sure you remember the story. Dorothy and Dog Toto are from Kansas. They get caught in a twister. And when they land, her house crushes the Wicked Witch of the East. By the way, if you're following along by watching the original movie on your VCR, please note, this is the very abridged version. Well, back to the current story. Dorothy is told you need to go see the wizard, so just follow the yellow brick road. So, off goes Dorothy and her dog Toto. They follow the yellow brick road, and not too far down the path, they encounter a scarecrow who needs a brain. Dorothy's reaction is to invite the scarecrow to come see the wizard too. A little further, she meets a tin woodsman who needs a heart. Again, Dorothy invites the tin man to join them on their journey to see the wizard because surely if he is going to provide a way home and a brain then he can certainly provide a heart. By the way, you are welcome to think about the implication that the Tin Man is a metaphor for technology which is cold and heartless, but that is a story for another day. So we rejoin our trio and dog even further down the road where they meet the Cowardly Lion and of course, he needs courage. And yes, you guessed it, he joins the group and off they go to see the wizard. But before this menagerie makes it to Oz and the wizard, they encounter the Wicked Witch of the East sister, the Wicked Witch of the West. She is determined to avenge her sister's death. She snatches Dorothy, but the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion somehow manage to save Dorothy and destroy the witch. When our heroes finally get to Oz, they discover a man behind the curtain who is pretending to be the all-and-powerful Oz. You see, it was all a fake, and what the heroes really discover is that they had the missing elements all the time. Brains, a heart, and courage. And Dorothy also had the ability to go home anytime she wanted because it was all a dream. The Wizard of Oz is an allegory, a story with a deeper meaning. It is a story about personal accountability. We all have the power within ourselves to solve problems. In my worldview of just two types of people, those that are accountable and those that are not, I call the latter victims. Let me illustrate this concept. Take a piece of paper and draw a line in the middle of the paper. Above the line, write accountable, and below the line, write victims. Let's start describing victims. Victims are often unaware that a problem even exists. If they realize there is a problem, they will often do nothing and hope that it gets better on its own. When they have to confront the problem, victims will make excuses and even blame others. Let's move to the top of the paper. Accountable individuals will acknowledge that the problem exists. They will seek out solutions and make them happen. Whether at work, school, or your personal life, you always have a choice to be a victim or to be accountable. It is not something that is given to you by fate, but rather it is a personal choice controlled by no one other than yourself. If you have a work assignment that is going to be late, you do not ignore it. You let the person to whom you owe the assignment know that there is a problem, how you are fixing it along with the plan and adjusted time frame for the new deliverable. One of my favorite emails and I jest, is when a student emails me to ask if it is okay to email me the late assignment. Asking to send in an assignment that is late with the assignment not attached reminds me of one of my favorite sayings that I learned early in life. Don't bring me a problem without a solution. If you would like to learn more about personal accountability, please read the 1998 book, The Oz Principle. Getting Results Through Individual and Organizational Accountability by Craig Hickman, Tom Smith, and Roger Connors. So, my question to you. Are you a victim 
or will you choose to be accountable?